بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now one more uh, common thing you do for the network management is snmp snmp is something uh, almost in every organization they use now the snmp stands for simple network management protocol so it's a protocol which is going to provide you the information about the networking devices like generally we we run some kind of software here probably we call it as network management station or network management server uh, which which is going to run some kind of software from different vendors like like there are solar winds you have uh, solar winds or hp open with there are plenty of network management software or network monitoring software as we can say now what snmp is going to do is snmp going to each and every device from this from here we can collect the statistics of this particular devices you can monitor or you can get all the statistics of the net, complete networking devices on on your screen uh, maybe you know kind of dashboard you will have and you have all the options and on the single device you can collect plenty of statistics which can include like the cpu utilization of individual servers or the routers or the memory utilization as well or even it can be the status of the interfaces like if any interface goes down then probably that particular router or it's going you are going to learn on the snmp and and here you can view that in the form of alert like like a red symbol or you can get an automatic email depending upon what type of software you are using what is the license uh, the features may vary and not only that you can also uh, get plenty of other statistics which can include like the link availability or the link utilization the bandwidth utilization as well or the network status status of the devices all those things so the main purpose of the snmp is to monitor the network so most of the thing you can do monitoring of your network from a single centralized device and you will get all the results in the form of graphs some some gui based options where you can verify the statistics in a more simple way you can check means it's not like command line it's like gui where you will see the graphs and and the different devices or the status all these things you see in the form of graphs so apart from the monitoring even there are some snmp tools or some snmp softwares to have an option of uh, pushing some kind of configurations you can even tell that like like one simple example is if the cpu utilization goes around 80% you can actually force that particular device to restart or if 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 the cpu utilization goes high you can tell Uh, to execute some specific command show command and copy the output and you can send an generate an automatic email or you can run some you can shut down some processes there are plenty of things you can do in that again it depends upon the license or the software what you are using in the packet so snmp is something you will be using uh, most commonly generally network engineers use this uh, there is one more option i think there is something like this is in build scripts what we discussed uh, apart from that there is one more you you will be using something called netflow a uh, netflow is a kind of a feature okay the netflow is something enables the devices to collect the traffic static information like like you can say that uh, let's say this is your network now what you can do is you can configure the router or router or any of your networking devices okay so probably this particular router can collect some kind of statistics static information and this information can be exported to a server or the netflow collector typically it's a kind of software which is going to collect those particular statistics and these statistics will be displayed on this network uh, network netflow collector device in the form of graphs so it is going to uh, display the information of a specific application utilization like what are the different applications you have and what is the utilization of that particular applications or the network utilization or network usage 
like what what is the amount of bandwidth or what is the utilization of http traffic or the icmp traffic or dns traffic like that or even you can uh, come to know what are the top talkers top talkers are nothing but like uh, which traffic is or which traffic or which traffic destined to where or coming from which source is utilizing more uh, more bandwidth or maybe uh, more resources of your network or even you can calculate the average uh, amount of traffic moving on the network so it all depends upon how you configure we'll be configuring the device to to particular uh, static information like like i'm going to tell that particular router saying that the capture specific traffic going from this particular source and this particular destination or this particular application and i can uh, export that particular things to the netflow collector where it is it is going you can see that information the static information on the collector side so probably this is going to help uh, help generally in the in the production networks to troubleshoot like if any application is experiencing any problem you can get those static information with the help of this netflow collectors so these are the different options what you have like the different options which will be used uh, previously as well as in the current networks also we are using these options for managing your network so those options are like as i said the command line and notepad for most of the copy paste of the configurations or the configuration files you you may use some inbuilt scripts to save your time and snmp mainly for monitoring your network to some extent you can do some configuration changes and also the netflow netflow is mainly to collect the static information of specific application or specific traffic so that you can uh, see who is who are the top talkers generally